It took me three episodes, but I'm finally playing a nation that exists. Spain. Spain is pretty fun in Victoria 3, because you are almost a major power, but not quite. You have a shitload of opportunities to expand, and you have a direct border with the number one great power. Why are you disrespecting me, bro? And the number two great power. Cette espèce de micro bourlé de menton. <laughs> so if they decide to kill you, you can just surrender. There is no need to even try. So let's try to carve ourselves a new Spanish Empire, shall we? I think it's a little bit weird that Spain doesn't start with Napoleonic warfare research because, you know, Spain actually fought Napoleon for what, like 10 years? And I find it a little bit hard to believe that they did not learn anything from him. So yeah, that's a bit strange. We start with 12.3 million people and 8.7 million GDP, which is actually not that bad. It's very interesting that we start somehow similar to Britain because we have a queen that's part of the intelligentsia. Now, for us, our queen is 5 years old, which is a bit weird, but it's gonna be alright. Oh, yeah, there is also that. Oh, let's not think very much about that, and let's try to pass colonial resettlement. Also, how exactly can we start without this law enacted? Wasn't Spain kind of the first country to do that shit? Oh, that's a lot of money. Let's put it to good use. We are gonna need a lot of everything. So let's actually build a lot of everything. There we go. This is gonna keep us busy for a couple years. Now, let's get rid of Morocco. They were a little bit too chill for my taste. Spoilers for this video. It kind of goes like my YouTube career. It starts absolutely horrible, it goes good for a while, and then it's back being absolutely horrendous. I'm still devastated that I had to play that. So please, if you wanna make me a little bit happier, consider subscribing to the channel. That number climbing produces a lot of happy chemical in my brain. Also, if you wanna help me combat starvation, I have a Patreon link in the description of this video which you can join for only one dollar. Thanks for listening to me and back to this horrible video. Why the fuck do we have an interest in Scandinavia? What the fuck do we hope to get from there? We don't need that. Let's maybe get the colonies back. And I think I'm gonna get the Niger Delta. In the last patch, Britain doesn't really colonize this anymore. I always see the Dutch grabbing it, so I don't want that to happen. Okay, we are off to a absolutely awful start. France is antagonistic against me and they just declared me as their arrival. The French really fucking suck. I hate them. Why the fuck are they so mean with me? I did nothing wrong yet. Alright, we don't really have any navy, so let's build a couple more ships and let's create a new army that will have exactly 9 units so we can invade shit. Like maybe the nation of Haiti. They seem like a very nice place to start building your empire. I'm surprised nobody thought about this earlier. Also, we are losing a lot of money, so let's up the taxes a little bit. We miss a lot of iron, so until we get rid of this deficit, our people will have to learn to pay taxes and shut the fuck up about it. I also have to be very careful to keep infamy under 25, so France doesn't get any funny ideas. I literally don't know what to attack next. I have so many options. I just the next Costa Rica and I kind of want to make New Granada my protectorate, so I can then get Venezuela Ecuador and so on through land but I will first have to demote them from a protectorate to a dominion and that takes time. I could also continue conquering Central America or I could also go to Africa. So I don't know. I guess I will chill a little bit for my infamy to reach zero. I decided to get more protectorates. So let's see how this is gonna go. Nobody's willing to help them so I guess we're good to do whatever the fuck we want. I am always opening the markets of my subjects when I get the chance. I don't know if it still applies nowadays, but in the older versions of the game, France and Britain would join against you just to open markets from your subjects. I don't see that happening that much nowadays, but it's still a safe bet. You hurt your subject economy in the short term, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I got an event some time ago that gave me 30 relations with France, and we were on the positives, but now the motherfuckers are damaging relations actively. I can't believe this shit. Also, they are at war with the Ottomans, and all they want is to humiliate the empire. That's straight up villain behavior. And you wanna know what else is straight up villain behavior? This shit right here. They are never gonna annex this little state. All the people here are just gonna starve to death, like they did in the last playthrough. Oh yeah, Morocco is yellow now. 
which means they are paying me money. We just got landed voting and that fucked my government up. This is a lesson for you kids. Autocratic regime, somewhat stable government. Stinky democracy, illegitimate government. Instantly. I am going for Argentina now. Making this thing a protectorate only costs me 6 infamy, which is crazy. That's a good fucking deal. Also, a bunch of people started colonizing the delta with me. Even Denmark is here. They do take a lot more time than I do, but still, it's a little bit annoying. There goes Argentina. Infamy is still low, so I guess I'm gonna get Ecuador. I'm not so confident I can take Chile. They have a bigger army than anybody else. Oh yeah, also, new technology just dropped. The atmospheric engine. And I'm gonna use the shit out of this thing. Oh yeah, I always forget. Spain has four gold mines. Ah, fuck. Portugal is in the British market. For some reason, they have an obligation to me, but I can't make them join my market for some reason. Oh my fucking god. This law just advanced with 1% chance. If that's not divine intervention, I have no idea what that is. Yo, what the fuck is this Ecuadorian flag? It's pretty sick, not gonna lie. Oh my fucking god, they're Banana Republic. That's where the flag comes from. Buddy, how the fuck are you a Banana Republic? You only have two plantations. Oh, okay, I took over and now they changed their name to Quito. And they are a junta now. This doesn't really make sense, but okay. Can I reduce any autonomy? No. How much until New Granada is free game? Seven months. Uh, they kind of hate me though. Oh... I forgot to remove this thing. Oopsie. Yeah, now they should feel better. They even stopped damaging relations with me. Ah, balls. I had a 70% chance to reduce the autonomy of Morocco. And as you can see, I lost because that's why we're here. Yeah, pretty awkward. And Sardinia Piedmont wants to help Morocco. Yeah, sure, buddy. You do you. Oh, they actually did. Can I call Austria in just for shits and giggles? They want an obligation. Nah, thanks. I'm good. My fucking god, it's so annoying. I have to keep improving relations with every country oh my fucking god we just got a civil war for a fucking local police force with a 33 percent chance jesus fucking christ i'm also at war with nicaragua by the way i hope this isn't gonna end up tragically oh shit they literally got most of the army i can't believe this is anybody gonna help me please russia thanks russia i'm counting on you please don't let me down Oh my fucking god, they want a subject. You know what, Russia? I think I'm gonna die if I don't do anything here. So you can have Haiti. I think I just got fucking scammed because Russia only sent 18 divisions. And that's certainly not gonna be enough. I think my puppets got me though. Oh, thanks god they are sending 24 million ships. That will surely help me out. Well, I think we lost. Yeah, pretty much. Thank you for not sending divisions, Russia. Yeah, this is very sad. Yep, I, I fucking lost. I can't believe this. Ah, okay, noted. Don't get revolts. <laughs> I restarted, went for Morocco as I did in the last campaign and France got them as a protectorate in exchange for help in the war. This is just not my week, man. Every single campaign I did this week went horribly wrong. Well, now we're talking. I just got 13k more. Well, it isn't all just honey and sugar because I tried to dismantle Brazil, but I could not get enough ships to invade them, so I had to peace out. Somebody had a change of heart, I see. Also, what the fuck happened to... Canada. They lose wars with the natives very often and they get territory from them. And I personally think that shouldn't be an option when the natives only have one battalion. Anyway, I think we got somewhere around where we left in the last campaign and France is still not gonna take this piece of territory. Alright, alright. This new Spanish empire is shaping up pretty good. Infamy is pretty low, so let's continue up the continent. Six infamy for Costa Rica seems like a goddamn scam. There is only 86k people here. I am also just about to become a major power. Because Prussia is no longer one. They lost a couple of wars against Austria. My prestige is pretty low though. Just started upgrading my troops to skirmish infantry though. Oh, I think they are all finished actually. Alright, now that we are a major power, I think it's finally time to dismantle Brazil properly. So, let's just go for it. Oh, they might actually accept. This is nice. They fucking accepted. Oh, okay. Well, this is pretty good. I shaved 2 million people from them. Okay, now I'm sorry to inform you, but I want to conquer you, so... Alright, that worked out pretty good. Let's do the same thing to Peru, Bolivia. And let's try to liberate Peru. 20% chance. Let's see. Oh, they actually agreed. <laughs> 
this is so fun to bully people into submission. Now, what's not going to be fun is that those donations are going to improve relations with me and I will have to get infamy in order to be able to even attack them. Five years have passed, so it's time to bully Brazil again. Let's try to liberate this country now. Still a 20% chance. And it's not gonna work this time, okay. Well, this is not exactly bad because now I can liberate more countries than just one. All right, so we are gonna liberate those territories. Let's also get this one. And I think we can do one more. Let's do Piratini, why not? Well, this didn't go half bad. It's safe to say that Brazil is no longer a thing. Oh my fucking God, this is horrible. I actually balkanized Brazil. I'm a fucking monster. I'm gonna go for Peru, Bolivia next, making them a protectorate. Only 16 infamy, pretty good. Oh, there we go. Russia is starting to be a bitch and they are doing it for an obligation, I think. That's even worse than if they wanted something. Okay, how much do you guys want to bet that they will send their entire army to Bolivia? And when they literally had to save me from losing the game, they only sent 20 divisions. I can fucking swear they will. Yeah, look at this. 90 divisions. Pieces of shit. Why does it have to be like this? Can I call somebody in France? What do you want? Transfer states, transfer subjects, of course. What is this? Trade agreement. Should I? Don't think they will help me at all. So I don't think there is a point. Well, the Russians didn't yet arrive. So I'm gonna get a couple good hits. Hope they are not gonna naval invade me. That would suck. Wait, do they have skirmish infantry? I don't think they do. No, they are still online infantry. Well, that's nice. Oh, and we just got mild separation of church and state in 1859. The USA is still struggling with that today. Could we maybe get public schools? To really stick it to the Americans? Oh, no, not yet. Laissez-faire, anybody? Uh, I think we can give it a shot. Yeah, this is not that bad. And we got Bolivia. Russians are trying to invade me, but it's not going very well. Uh, ignore those. Those don't matter. There we go. Infamy is a little bit high, so let's chill for a moment. I wasn't really focused on the economy this playthrough, but 24 million is not that bad. We're seventh in the world. We have a pretty small population, though. Colonization is going pretty slow, and I don't really want to start annexing my subjects yet. Oh, holy shit. I'm getting 56k from diplomatic pacts. Ah, yeah, there it is. The Mexican-American War. I've been waiting for this shit all game because, you know, I kind of want Mexico for myself. So, ah, fuck. I have high relations with Mexico. That's not good. I mean, I could expel diplomats, but that would set me back a little, so I don't really want to. Mexico is pretty strong, so I'm not gonna be able to land if they're not fighting someone else. Ah, it's fine. I'm gonna get them at some point. Oh man, I feel like I got no jokes in me this episode. As I said, it was a pretty rough week. Now, nah, wait, let me think about something. Uh, oh, oh, I got it. Do you guys know what the difference between an American and a killer whale is? Well, the killer whale doesn't have to worry about being shot by a 14 year old. Hey, <laughs> you got this? Because guns don't work underwater. Ah, uh, this one is actually more sad because it's true. Nah, you know what? Just forget I said anything. Watch me conquer Honduras instead. Very immersive gameplay right here. Just passed Let's Affair, so now we can get another company. I just established the gold one because the 5% minting and loyalists are pretty good. Now, I think I really need the influence, but we are not gonna get the productivity, so let's establish the Spanish Textile Syndicate. And, ah, man, I really want to have a go at the public schools, but the landowners are bitches. Maybe ban slavery? Nah, that won't work either. You know what? I think we got a chance at no migration controls though. And holy shit, that's a lot of profit. And what do we know about profit, kids? That's right, we are playing the game wrong. So let's max those two construction sectors. That should be enough. I decided to get those three countries as protectorates and not annex them because that would cost a lot of infamy and this number is so fucking annoying. I know keeping it under 25, it's a little bit overkill, but you can very very easily spiral into a vicious cycle if you try to keep it under 50 because every time you attack something your relations with all the majors sour so when you are yourself a major you don't have that much infamy because you cannot declare that many rivalries so you go conquest after conquest and there is always one major that you cannot keep up with relations so they will just change their attitude to antagonistic and they will just join against you over and over and over again and I want to avoid that at any price, even if it means slower expansion. Some people would say that Russia might be absolutely idiotic for going to war with Austria and Russia 
over and over and over again because they kind of already lost four or five wars against them but i say it is admirable that no matter what happens they will fucking try until nothing happens because they cannot win also this is not even for unifying germany they are supporting sweden in unifying scandinavia so uh yeah i also don't think this is gonna work wait a second how can denmark cut sweden down to size they only have three infamy you should have over 100 in order for that to work to apply that's strange to say the least this is exactly what i was talking about the sweden war has been done for two years i think and now they went back in this time for actual german leadership and i think this time they look like winning i really don't know why the fuck but the prussian ai has a twisted pleasure into conquering tyrol and south tyrol why the fuck when they go for bohemia it's right there and it's one of the best states in europe <laughs> are you sure about that why the fuck this is so random oh my fucking god they don't even try to ban slavery in spain they want to do that in morocco well okay i will just surrender jesus christ that was scary does anybody else have slavery yeah pretty much everybody and nobody can really ban it i'm gonna do my best though to convince my puppets to ban it but again i don't promise anything it's also a good idea to make them have hospitals so they get more population i don't really know how this works but i think from time to time they might have revolutions so be careful when doing that oh yeah also i'm taking brazil now finally managed to ban slavery in 1878 i mean not that much worse than the us in our timeline and with a couple years ahead of Brazil. I also think I might start annexing my subject soon. Got to wait for infamy to tick down again though. Oh yeah, and I'm trying to get state atheism to get more authority. Oh look, Romania formed. That's some garbage GDP though. It's because they are not in any market. They got Serbia in that though. Other than that, not much happened. Canada still didn't colonize those three states, which is mildly infuriating me. The US achieved modern borders. I have a way bigger economy than them. Suckers. And the heavenly kingdom is a thing. Fully united very weak though oh and somehow britain got lower egypt they did not conquer it from egypt egypt had a revolt and this was independent for some reason chile got depopulated as fuck it only has half the original population so i decided to annex them we of course went to war it was a 30 percent chance to annex them peacefully anyway so yeah i think this chance should be way higher i mean i don't think it ever gets over 50 percent but you know i had high relations and helped my dominions for like 20 30 years they should probably wish to join the empire a bit more oh yeah prussia is back for around 25 this time they want to conquer west galicia i never seen them go for this state this is very weird i don't know about you guys but i really hate this fucking update where you can only see your job seekers because it's very misleading i've been building in spain this whole time so i forgot this isn't actually showing me my my unemployed population but the total amount of population that can work so i took a look around the country and uh, from all my mainland states there are only 8000 peasants in galicia so i don't understand paradox why the fuck was this change made doesn't make any sense to me so yeah now i actually need to annex my subjects it's gonna be a little bit hard because none of them actually want to see this is the fourth time i go to war with a 30 percent chance of success doesn't seem really fair also those guys also don't have any free population haiti has quite a bit of peasants but i'm gonna discriminate heavily against afro antillian unfortunately oh my fuck God. New Granada just sold the Panama Canal to Britain. They didn't ask me for permission or anything. They just did it, motherfuckers. They also don't have that many peasants. Yeah, well, I took a look around here. And the only one of my subjects with actual population is Argentina, which holy shit has 4.5 million. But I'm not gonna annex them because they are still colonizing. And if I annex them, they lose the claims on the states. And everybody would just start colonizing this and I don't want that. Also, please, Paradox when my subject has claims on something and i annex my subject please let me inherit their claims it's only natural russia just landed in the uk how the fuck did they manage to do this the funny thing is that they are fighting over the Sikh empire and they are somehow holding oh yeah and prussia actually took this oh romanian gdp going up does that mean 
yeah they are in the russian market the persian market is expanding a bit i managed to get portugal into my market i was hoping that i'm gonna steal their population which is actually happening i think they just changed to migration controls that's nice i still have no more population though most of my buildings are empty well not empty but looking to hire I need to get some people, but I don't know where from. Oh yeah, also, I'm trying to get this achievement, so I'm gonna be a monarchy forever. I actually did this a couple months after the game was released. I did have over 20 standard of living while being a monarchy. Actually remaining a monarchy, I did not change my law at all. But I just did not get the achievement, so I'm trying it now. Also, I'm still doing this shit. As I said before, I've been trying to do this achievement literally since the game was released. France just finished a civil war so did britain and now they decided to have a war so i think that i'm gonna offer support to britain in order to liberate Occitania, because that would be basically 30 percent of all of france which will weaken them a lot and maybe i will be able to exploit france in the future this is how Occitania will look like i'm also trying to pass cultural exclusion but it's not going very well and i think i did a really big mistake i passed private healthcare and as it has been proven again and again and again private healthcare fucking sucks so now my population is only growing with 0.6 every year before i passed the law with charity hospitals i was getting almost double that so keep that in mind kids no private healthcare oh they just backed down this is incredible we don't even have to fight oh prussia just ate most of the german states they are going at it again okay italy also formed they pretty much suck oh damn this graph looks good anyway wait what they are the eighth great power what the fuck there are eight of them they're just giving this title to anybody these days it means nothing Oh, and France joined against Russia. Should I go against France again? The Germans are willing to give me a lot of shit. They are willing to give me Württemberg. What the fuck will I even do with this little piece here? Can I liberate any other country? Oh, I can liberate Algeria. Okay, I'm, I'm going in. I would like to get Algeria as my puppet. Don't think they are gonna give up this time. Oh, fuck. The US joined France. This is bad. And they want my colonies. Fuck this shit. Maybe this wasn't actually the best idea. So far, we are doing fine. I invaded Algeria so we can have the war goal. But we also need to control Alsace-Lorraine, which is a little bit tricky. Oh yeah, and the Maya succeeded. And nobody is willing to defend my front. And I don't really have a spare army to get rid of them, which is a little bit... How should I say it? Not nice. Oh, and now we get a South Andean succession. Nice. At least Prussia is cleaning up the little states. Let's also get this one, just for the record. Can I get some conscripts for this army? Yeah, that would be enough. Oh, is this it? This is the succession. 71k people. You bother me with that? Jesus Christ. This part of the world is disgusting to look at. What the fuck? does this even mean and i'm also about to get a revolution for trying to pass cultural exclusion i tried to attack france but it failed miserably and i lost around 30k people not gonna do that again i think the safest bet is to wait for the americans to get out of the war which is gonna take some time holy shit i nearly have 8 million radicals why though i i don't know my convoys are getting sunk by the americans that's not nice ah uh, fuck we only need to get alsace lorraine now but that's gonna be the most difficult Bart. uh what the fuck where is this army going it's coming to the front line this army was here did the goddamn teleportation bug happen again because yeah guys if you don't know in this game things teleport sometime which is very not nice oh no this is a bug this army is here it just appears that it's in the ocean all right we have a 45 percent advantage should we attack i really don't know what to do the germans are not getting those anytime soon they are both at zero i just hope they are not gonna white piece and the americans still have a while to go so i think it's time to attack if not now then never oh yeah let's give them extra supplies i forgot about this and let's also extra pay the army for a bit go boys beat up them frenchies ah no this is not gonna work this one is gonna work nice this one is also gonna work okay we're pushing just please don't white piss for the love of god don't white piss okay one more we need one more fight ah fuck 
There are two fights. We're gonna win this one, but I don't think it's gonna count. Oh, it did. Good. Now everybody stop pushing. No need to do that anymore. And their world score should go down now. And for some reason it doesn't because we don't unify with Alsace Lorraine. And what the fuck is that supposed to mean? We are occupying it. Ah, uh, okay then. Everybody attack again. We are gonna pay a visit to Mr. President himself in Paris. 75% advantage. That, that's phenomenal. I don't know how the fuck this is working, but no matter what I do, the intelligentsia is not going over 8% cloud. And I'm fucking bolstering them. I need them to be powerful in order to get this one done. The Americans folded. Nice. Can they get those now? Yeah, probably. And we are still pushing. <laughs> yeah, fuckers. Right on the capital. This is it, guys. France will no longer be a threat for anybody. Total victory. Algeria is now free. 5 million people, that's something. France is down to 31. Oh, fuck. Portugal is in a civil war. And I just declared neutrality. I kind of wanted to help them to see if I can get something in return, but there is that. Also, I don't think there is any worth in building anything now that I don't have any people left so i'm just gonna set the taxes to low and let my investment pool do the things that it need doing and i also think that i just created a monster oh i can bail ocitania i kind of want to get them into my customs union do they want a defensive pack for an obligation yeah Oh yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna try to get some trade routes with them to see if I can get trade agreements. I'm just gonna trade everything with them. Oh yeah, is this enough? Yeah, they want a trade agreement now, nice. Okay, what about you join my market? Still a no. Okay, then fucker, I'm gonna bankroll you. I just got the goddamn jackpot. Ocitania has a civil war, so I joined their part. With one condition that they become my subject. And they are now my protectorate. Wonderful. We're really getting lucky in the end of the goddamn campaign. Oh, is this for real? Remember when Sweden and next Norway and then tried to unify Scandinavia and went at war with Russia for that. Well, they just did that thing all over again. And this time the US is helping Russia. I don't know what the fuck their business is, but they keep doing that and it's annoying. Also, I now own almost the entirety of South America. There is only the natives and those three pieces. I wanted to annex my subject with a 25% chance of them going peacefully, but it didn't happen. And Mexico joined. And holy shit, a Mexico with 11 million people has more troops than I do. And they also have a skirmish infantry. It's not shitty line infantry or anything. To put it in perspective, they have more than fucking France and almost as much as the USA. Alright, this is not entirely bad. The only bad part is that I don't really have any nations to liberate from Mexico. I guess I will liberate Maya. But this is 1 million people and I also can liberate this for 200k. It's not worth it. I can get war reps though. And should I conquer any state? I have 22 infamy. I could actually do something like that. Uh... No, actually it's not worth it. Let's just liberate Maya to have a buffer state. I think people really want public schools now. Look at this shit. I got amazing events. And also I just researched trench infantry. And that's amazing. Also made Ossetania into a dominion. They accepted right away. They are such a loyal subject. Oh yeah, look at that. The GDP exploded. Also, I'm finally starting to get good population growth from my private healthcare. Still have no people though. And our GDP also kind of went down a little but it's fine oh my fucking god 21 infamy for making algeria a subject why though that's that's too much we are gonna be under 50 so let's do it somebody will definitely join probably russia or the us oh my fucking god this little speck of territory here had 25 civil wars until now i hate shit like this so much this little country has been a protectorate of the british since the beginning and that will never ever ever change it's the same with the truchel states they are just forever protected by the british if you want to unify arabia you will have to fight the british for this one state and that's just not fucking cool at least make them puppets or annex them bro I don't know what's up with Germany, but they have been fighting Denmark for like six times already. What the fuck do they want to take more from them? There is nothing left. Oh, they are supporting Sweden. This is the fourth time they are trying to unify Scandinavia, Jesus Christ. I tried to get Tunis as a protectorate and they are in the Italian market, so they joined them. Which means it's time to dismantle Italy. They had a good run so far. They existed for like 10 years. Oh, there is only little states like this. I was hoping to be able to to release the two Sicilies, but this works, I guess. Tuscany and Sardinia Piedmont. That's a good 7 million people. Never mind. 
Tunis back down, okay. Germany succeeded to form Scandinavia, and in the meantime, they also formed Germany. They look pretty scary. They also got Scandinavia and the Medelox in the German market, and the Russians just had a field they look at this shit. Their market is enormous. They are still poor though. One of the poorest countries in the world, actually. And Romania is one of the richest. Nice. Ossetania just got a revolt, so I am dealing with that while waiting for my infamy to take down. Alright guys, I'm gonna do something super cool. I'm gonna do a next subject on Peru Bolivia with 1% chance, and they will accept. Watch this. Ah, the magic stick didn't work this time. You know, it happens. Magic is not exact. The fucking USA joined. And this is so goddamn lame. What the fuck is their business that I want to annex one of my subjects randomly in the heart of South America? Why would they care? Don't like when this shit happens. They also don't have trench infantry, but they are still beating my ass. Don't know how that works. The Americans folded after taking one literal million casualties. 400 something K dead, 400 something K wounded. You can see where the war started, the graphic flattens. And for what? For fucking nothing. Because they lost. Or in the best case scenario, for this state. This is what they wanted. 700 K people. It's less people than they lost in the war. Fucking stupid AI. I just crippled my entire economy for a French Guiana. Not the smartest decision of my career, but you know what? I'm proud of it. France wanted to conquer Benin and Oyo, so I helped them a bit and starved my population in the meantime. Also, people really don't want for kids to go to school in this country. The law is almost passed, but if I get one single bad event, I'm gonna go into a civil war and lose the game, just as it happened in the first campaign. So that being said, I learned nothing. So I'm gonna take the chance. Also, what the fuck happened with all my money? Why do I only barely make money when my taxation looks like this? Okay, now it's the moment of truth. Oh, okay, we're safe, one more cycle. Can I please get back my convoys? This is not funny anymore. Oh my god, it's gonna take two years? Oh no. Ah, fuck, the law didn't pass. Oh, the US is going in on its daddy. Okay, I would have loved to get in on that shit, but I'm a little bit busy collapsing. Oh my fucking god, everybody's sitting. Can you guys please chill the dual uprising? What the fuck? Oh, nice. Now it's gonna take 10 years for my convoys to replenish. That's totally reasonable. Okay, we failed twice with 40%. This is not looking good. And I am in 25 wars. Still gonna get 10 years for my convoys to come back. So I think we're screwed. I actually don't think this is supposed to happen. It still tells me that a convoy raid is about to happen in 17 days. And Britain, the US and the Germans are raiding me. Although I'm not at war with any of them. Is this just a bug or am I tripping hard? Oh yeah, revolts everywhere. Everything gets revolting at the same time. Everywhere. Not just for me, for everybody. And my economy is still collapsing further. And this is the third time I lose the 40-60 chance. Now it's a 30-60. And something tells me this next tick, it's gonna park the civil war. No way, it didn't. But half of my nation is radical now. And I even lost my great power rank from only one single war with France. That's amazing. I love when that happens. The Basque decided to suicide now. They have 21 whole fucking troops. And I failed again to enact compulsory primary school. Now it's at 16%. And my convoys are still not coming back. Is it because I'm at war? All I know is that Britain is getting fucked by the USA and I love that. Oh my god, another civil war in the Philippines. <laughs> that is too much. Oh yeah, and I am losing against those guys. Wonderful. I even forgot those guys were a threat. Oh, 300 convoys came back. Somehow. Looking good, looking good. Oh, now the Aymara will succeed. Nice. Where the fuck are those guys even? Because I don't know anymore. Oh, this is where the Aymara are. Right next to the other succession. I think I just reached a deadlock. I don't think I'm gonna ever come out of this. Oh, more convoys got sunk. I also lost a couple of ships. No worries. Well, at least we are no longer at risk of a civil war. Okay. I just failed to pass compulsory primary school. Let's try to restrict it at least, I guess. More revolts started brewing, like this one in Algeria. I couldn't defeat the Basque country because this army didn't have a general, so they were just looking at the front. The Philippines are getting shit on, and the landowners still want child labor allowed. How the fuck are they even allowed to get a civil war? They are only at minus five. Shouldn't they be 
at minus 10 and also they have only 7% clout and they can still be such a pain. Also, I'm losing even more convoys. I don't know how. No, this cannot be real. This is bugged somehow. This is at minus 1000% efficiency. Now this, this is impossible to be right. Finally dealt with the Philippines. Now I only have two more uprisings to deal with. I am never gonna be able to unmobilize my armies or get my convoys back. Now I have a minus 11.1k. I just lose more and more convoys. Okay, okay. I actually think it's getting fixed now. It's not taking 10 years anymore. More. So at least that. Nah, I was just kidding. I meant four more revolts because there is one more in Chile and one more in Ossetania. At least my convoys are coming back, okay? Leave me alone. Oh no, never mind. It's taking three years again. Yeah, I'm never gonna be okay. How the fuck do I even protect my convoys? Deploying my navy to the node doesn't help. Oh yeah, exactly what I needed right now. One more succession. This shit is never gonna end. <laughs> No. <laughs> Everything that's happening now, it's so frustrating. You guys can't imagine. And people really don't want the children to go to school. Because it failed again. Oh my fucking god, I've been on Tenet Farmers all this time. Is this one even better? I think it is. Let's try to get this one, although the landowners are gonna revolt again. Oh my fucking god, I hate this so fucking much. I don't know what the reason is, but the game keeps creating more armies that I don't want. Where do those divisions come from? I need to know. Yep, not even surprised. The game is doing this just to piss me off at this moment. There isn't possibly a way that this is how the game is meant to work. At this point, I'm just showing the uprising for comedic effect. I am no longer touched by this. This no longer bothers me. This does. Th this does. Where the fuck did those three units come from? And why couldn't they just assign to the already existing armies? Another succession down. Two more appeared. One in Puerto Rico, one in Cuba. I don't know if you guys even believe me at this point. This might as well just be me doing some kind of magic. Convoys are slowly coming back and from time to time 300 go missing. I don't know what that's all about. More fleets were created of course. Okay guys, I am thrilled to announce that I think this was the last one. It only took me five years and it's still gonna take one or two more but we recovered after the war with France. This seems like something that would happen in actual history. Going to war with France once and taking 10 years to to recover your empire but uh, yeah i just hope my income is gonna come back and this guys is why i hate to have an overseas empire because if i were to get a fleet at least the size of france my economy will crumble so that's why i prefer playing on a continent and just getting a big land empire like all of africa or how i tried with mongolia so yeah also i have zero infamy because i fought myself for so long so let's reduce some autonomy and i can finally take this one little state and give it to algeria this bothered me so much for so long it's only 50k people but i want it gone oh my fucking god the economic collapse was so harsh that 1 million people turned into peasants while well, look at this shit all those buildings need people but for some reason they are not coming back you got to love this fucking game also i don't know where 2k of my bureaucracy went and i'm very scared to ask oh yeah this is also a problem i can't really build anything because you know i'm 40 million in debt a bit more than my actual gdp <laughs> you can't make this shit up man they had a revolution when i attacked I'm gonna end it all. Oh yeah, also, those things up here are permanent. I cannot get rid of them. They're bugged. Thanks, game. What the fuck is this? Uluru? The fucking natives? It's a, it's a cybernetic state. Man, I don't know. This looks hella communist. Anyway, they have, they have a lot of GDP. They are the most rich per capita oh my fucking god how did this happen how did the natives beat out the british oh my fucking god this japan looks disgusting oh okay it took me eight years to fully recover well actually not because i'm still in default and now france wants to ruin me all over again hey what's up italy do you want to help transfer subjects fuck you then us same thing fuck you us god fucking damn it so guys the french really want Tunisia, okay? All right, they actually don't own Tunisia or my capital, if that is irrelevant somehow. But in this war, 
it still appears that they control the world, which is Tunisia, or as I said, my capital. And this proves that you don't actually need to do anything to make your dreams come true, you just need to want it really bad, just how the French do. So yeah, this is also happening. Also, two more revolts, because dealing with the French wasn't enough, at least I got Peru. And I'm gonna lose Tunisia, I think. I reoccupied it, but I'm still losing war score. And no, they are not in my capital yet. Will they at least be willing to trade war reparation for it? No, of course not. Fuck you, France. I hate this game. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Looking at the map of Europe, you would say that Denmark doesn't exist anymore because it became Scandinavia, but no, Denmark is a thing. They have Greenland and those two colonies in Africa. Because yeah, why not? Also, for some reason, my magnificent pop at Argentina stopped colonizing. So I don't know, I think I will just try to switch it on colonial exploitation. They have frontier colonization, so probably it doesn't work for some reason. Oh shit, they have 7.6 million people. That's a lot. I annexed a couple more subjects, and by a couple I mean Ecuador. And now Central America revolted again. They really don't like this second Spanish Empire thing. That's curious. Yeah, okay, sure. Things have been very peaceful for a while. I annexed a lot of my subjects, I now have 36 million people and 150 million GDP. So it's only natural that those fuckers are coming for me. What do they want? Panama and this other state. Okay, I understand, but why? Germany wants to help me, so... Okay. What would Germany want from me? A world phenomenal regime change in Finland. Oh yeah, because Finland exists here. Oh my god, one million people in this state. Okay, Germany is now my friend. Let's fucking release Ukraine and Poland then. Oh my fucking god, the Russians still have line infantry and some skirmish. They are toasted. Germany has trench. That's not even funny. Oh, Mexico sided with Russia, okay. Fuck do you want? Oh, Austria joined. And for some reason Austria wants this state. Mexico only wants Chiapas. Can I also get Italy in? Yep. Let's give them back Lombardy. And they join. Guys, unironically, I think I started the first world war. One year after it should have been done. Okay. Can I release Ukraine now? And one more. What should we release? Poland or Belarus? Poland has like 5 million people. That's pathetic. I think Belarus has more. So let's release Belaru Belarus. I almost pressed this button by mistake. Jesus fucking Christ. That was scary. It's safe to say that we are winning on every front. Mexico already capitulated. And the Brazilians succeeded, of course. I don't know why Mexico is occupied by the US because they are not. Also, the US never took Alaska. Romanian GDP be booming though. Actually, not so much. They have less than the Netherlands. Well, it's still good. This is looking a little weird. Oh, Russia lost a lot. Oh, damn, Ukraine has 22 million people. And Belarus, 7.5. Only 1.5 million GDP in Belarus, poor guys. The Russians didn't build anything here. That's sad. No. My dyslexic ass did the stupidest shit ever. I wanted to annex this guy and Italy joined, as well as Netherlands, and I wanted Guyana, but I selected Guinea. What the fuck am I gonna do with this piece of territory? Jesus fucking Christ. I should really learn to read. Why the fuck does the US control East Prussia? How the fuck did this happen? What the fuck? Bruh. Somebody cooked here. Don't understand this world at all. Oh, nice. And I'm gonna lose again. This country did somehow secure the independence, but they are not banning slavery in New Granada and the Philippines. They didn't touch those regions. Why is my war score going down? I can't. I can't even. Let's invade this, maybe. I was trying to invade Italy's capital, but those 103 ships had another idea. <laughs> Fuck. Their capital is here, not here. I invaded the wrong spot. Are they pushing here? Oh, yeah, they are. Never mind, they went back the other way. Okay, bro, just, just invade this, please. We need this. Oh, look at this. The enemies would accept those demands. Oh, no, wait. They are not gonna accept because I cannot propose the peace. What do you mean Angola does not agree to the peace till... What does this mean then? <sighs> at least the war score is not going down anymore. This campaign is fucking draining. Also, American Prussia is no more. It's just a regular Prussia now. Guys, can you just fucking let me conquer my subjects in peace? The UK wants Panama. Jesus fucking Christ. Can you just give me a loan, please? What the fuck did I do to you? I actually know what I did to you. Nothing. You're just bullying me for no reason. 
I just... Oh, wait, I have a border with them. Oh, and the French side of the Brazil. Oh, my fucking God. Okay, Germany. They want to transfer state. Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? You can have Guatemala. If this means we can kill the French, you can have it. My convoys are gonna get absolutely trashed. And I'm worried that this time I won't have the time to recover before that game ends. Why is the game like this? Oh yeah, guys, wanna, wanna know something funny? This is AI behavior lenient. This is how the game on easy mode is. You have to fight two superpowers at the same time on easy mode every single time you do anything. And sometimes you actually don't even have to do anything. You just get invaded by a superpower on easy mode. Well, I annexed. Brazil, Britain just capitulated. They had almost 2 million casualties. Look at this line here. France also has 1 million casualties. They still don't control the world. Look at it. It's nice and unoccupied. But yeah, they somehow still get what they want, as always. I'm also dealing with a Colombian revolt. Don't mind this one. And uh, I don't really know what to do now. Because I'm gonna lose that one state. And I really don't want to give France anything, so let's try a naval invasion. Although I don't have high hopes, the war is almost over anyway. Yep, I lost again for no reason. That's what bugs me the most. Also, I'm trying to give women rights. And it's going impressively good. I did not expect this. Ah, uh, well, I really tried, man. I really fucking tried to finish this on a high note by giving the other 50% of the population the right to exist. But it failed with 60% like five times. And now we're in a civil war. Can you guys guess what this revolt wanted to pass and I didn't pass? Industry fucking banned. That's what they wanted. If you don't even know what this law does, because why the fuck would you? It's just a meme law. It stops you from being able to build any of those buildings forever. So a civil war was brewing for a while and I got the event reforms at gunpoint and I clicked the only option that did not pass that law immediately and those guys just rose up. I was so close even. I only had to annex Argentina and New Granada and I had all of South America. But it cannot be helped. It's 1929 already, so yeah. Everything is looking just disgusting. Even Romania lost most of its GDP since I cut it from the Russian market. So this was it, guys. Thank you for watching this far. This was a pain for me, so I hope you guys had fun. Again, show me your support in the comments if you want to see more Victoria 3. And as always, I would like to thank my Patreons that support me every single month, no matter what. Flossy, Tommy Leawan, Arctic CG, Madra Devante, Thunder, Gronwegs, Windows Mistake Edition, Gabe's Liquor, Jack M, Erika Mannerheim, and I Yan. Thank you guys again, and until next time, don't forget. Just, just don't play this game. It's not worth it. It's a bad game. It's a bugged bad game. Don't, don't, don't play it. Just, just keep watching other idiots that play it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.